Good morning and welcome to Grace St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Midtown Memphis. I'm the Reverend Ollie Rencher Rector and we are glad that you have joined us today for a service of healing prayers. I'm gathered here in the chancel of our beautiful space. On the day after Election Day, we gather both in this sacred space and connect remotely with other members of the human family joining us via live stream for healing prayers. So thank you for being with us today. Mindful of the heaviness, divisions, and reactions that are being carried in the hearts of all sorts and conditions of beloved children of God throughout this city, the nation, and the world, it strikes me that we are called to pray in the name of love, faith, justice, and peace. Today, as people of faith who may be weary, we also are called to have hope and to act, always remembering God's abundance and our baptismal vows to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, who is the way of love and our healer. My friends, our prayers this morning invite us to be introspective and to partner with God in making life better for this present condition of an unreconciled world and for the good of the human spirit. And so this morning I will light candles, observe moments of silence, and offer a variety of prayers, including ones for life, for the nation, for peace, for social order, and guidance from the Book of Common Prayer. And some poetry graciously has been provided by my associate rector, the Reverend Laura Geddes. In the Episcopal tradition, we celebrate common prayer as one of many gifts for faith and spiritual journeys and the road to healing. So before we begin, if you have easy access to a candle to be lighted during our prayer time, please locate it and you may light it as we begin or at any point during our time together. And throughout our time, I will light candles to illuminate our prayers. And so now let us pray. This prayer is for in the morning. This is another day, O Lord. I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie down, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. This is a prayer for an election. Almighty God, to whom we must account for all our powers and privileges, guide the people of the United States in the election of officials and representatives, that by faithful administration and wise laws, the rights of all may be protected and our nation be enabled to fulfill your purposes. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. prayer for the human family. O oh God, you have made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. 
break down the walls that separate us, unite us in bonds of love, and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our next prayer is a poem where the mind is without fear, where the mind is without fear. It is by Rabindranath Tagore, born 1861, died in 1941, considered the greatest writer in modern Indian literature, Bengali poet, novelist, educator, Nobel laureate for literature in 1913. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms toward perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way, into the dreary desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee, into ever-widening thought and action, into that freedom, my Father, let my country awake. This next prayer is for the nation. It is from the Book of Common Prayer for National Life at page 833. Almighty God, giver of all good things, we thank you for the natural majesty and beauty of this land. They restore us, though we often destroy them. Heal us. We thank you for the great resources of this nation. They make us rich, though we often exploit them forgive us. We thank you for the men and women who have made this country strong. They are models for us, though we often fall short of them. Inspire us. We thank you for the torch of liberty which has been lit in this land. It has drawn people from every nation, though we have often hidden from its light. Enlighten us. We thank you for the faith we have inherited in all its rich variety. It sustains our life, though we have been faithless again and again. Renew us. Help us, O Lord, to finish the good work here begun. Strengthen our efforts to blot out ignorance and prejudice and to abolish poverty and crime. And hasten the day when all our people, with many voices in one united chorus, will glorify your holy name. Amen. For the President of the United States and all in civil authority, O Lord, our Governor, whose glory is in all the world, we commend this nation to your merciful care, that being guided by your providence, we may dwell secure in your peace. Grant to the President of the United States, the Governor of this state, and to all in authority, 
wisdom and strength to know and to do your will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve this people in your fear. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. For our own work for the common good. This is from four day by day's season of prayer for an election. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you declare your glory and show forth your handiwork in the heavens and in the earth. Deliver us in our various occupations from the service of self alone, that we may do the work you give us to do in truth and beauty for the common good for the sake of him who came among us as one who serves, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. This is a poem, God speaks to each of us as he makes us. God speaks to each of us as he makes us by Rainer Maria Rilke, Bohemian Austrian poet and novelist. God speaks to each of us as he makes us, then walks with us silently out of the night. These are the words we dimly hear you sent out beyond your recall, go to the limits of your longing, embody me. Flare up like a flame and make big shadows I can move in. Let everything happen to you, beauty and terror, just keep going. No feeling is final. Don't lose yourself, lose me. Nearby is the country they call life. You will know it by its seriousness. Give me your hand. God speaks to each of us as he makes us. In times of conflict, O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. a prayer of thanksgiving for the social order, for the diversity of races and cultures. O oh God, you have created all peoples in your image. We thank you for the wonderful diversity of races and cultures in this world. 
enrich our lives by ever-widening circles of fellowship, and show us your presence in those who differ most from us until our knowledge of your love is made perfect in our love for all your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. From the Book of Common Prayer, a prayer for social justice. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. a prayer attributed to St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. For there is hatred, let us so love. For there is injury, pardon. For there is discord, union. For there is doubt, faith. For there is despair, hope. For there is darkness, light. For there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. And now I invite us to take those deepest breaths, reminded of the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God that lives within and around our bodies, the Spirit of God that is the wisdom of new beginnings, the Spirit of God that will make us whole, the Spirit of God that calls us to see the face of God in each other, every human being in our lowest and in our highest, the Spirit of God, an invitation for us to seek peace and pursue it. I'm mindful this day of the variety of places where people are, but I also am reminded that we are called to be better than our worst moments, to offer ourselves, our souls and bodies, in love and service, in the name of healing, which is why we gather in moments like this to pray, to be still, to light candles, and to gaze upon moments of goodness, times in history, the icon that is there before you is a gift that was given to me 
when I was in Charlotte, North Carolina, and a now retired Episcopal priest, Julie Clarkson, gave me that, and her words to me were, always gaze upon the goodness, always gaze upon the goodness. And in that icon, we see our Lord, this historic version of him holding the word, for he is our word, he is our hope, he is our truth, he is our healing. So this day, let us be mindful. Let us be grateful for the gift of life, but also to pay attention closely to those who live at the margins, those far from us and those near to us, those within our households and beyond our households, the face of God all around. And now I invite us into a moment of silence and we shall end our time with the Lord's Prayer. And now let us sum up our prayers in the words that Jesus taught his followers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, thank you for joining us today here at Grace St. Luke's Church in Midtown Memphis, Tennessee. The prayers that have been offered this day are a compilation of those from the Book of Common Prayer and Poetry. And later today, I will put those together and place those on our website, gracestlukes.org, under spiritual guidance. gracestlukes.org, discover spiritual guidance so that you can use these prayers throughout the day or throughout other days or throughout those most challenging times in life. But again, take good care of yourselves as I shall do the same, mindful that God is our source of healing. Blessings and peace, and go in peace. Thanks again.